<laughs> how's it going? Oh yeah, we liked it, don't we? Well, how's it going, everybody? Bo here from BZ Up, and today we're fishing in a new area. Where are we fishing, King Bjorn? Huh? Where are we fishing today? Tell them. Okay, well. Something you all have been waiting for, Marone River, everybody. The next uh, beginner series video. Everyone's been asking me, when's the next beginner series video coming out? Well, today, everybody. As with all, if not most of my beginner series videos, I am going to go through the species of the, uh, the river here. I'm gonna go over my equipment and then we're gonna go over locations and then finally we're gonna start actually fishing. So if you wanna skip around to uh, skip some of the things that don't interest you, feel free to just look down below and skip around the timetable. I should also say that they just announced the elusive arapaima so that is going to be a new monster fish that will be featured in the 2022 uh, halloween extravaganza so if you haven't seen any of those halloween extravaganzas chasing after the monster fish and fishing planet then go ahead and check it out but here we go unfortunately today the weather is pretty poor we're gonna have to be skipping forward i always like if you're trying out a place for the first time i always just recommend go to the sunniest day just go to the sunniest day skip through all of these it's gonna cost you some money but if you get good fishing out of it then it's gonna be all worth it so just go ahead and do that that's what we're gonna do anyway but the first fish species we're gonna be looking at here apapa apapa I don't know how to exactly say that. Biara, uh, Brick, Bricken, Bricken? Oh God, these are gonna be difficult. Uh, butterfly Peacock Bass, we've of course seen that one before. Flat Whiskered Catfish, Gilded Catfish, we saw at Maku Maku. Uh, Jacunda, again, Oscar, Payara, uh, Red Peacock Bass, Red Tail Barracuda, Red Bellied Piranha, Red Eye Piranha, uh, Red Tail Catfish, a new one, a very big one, up to 176 pounds. That's gonna be really fun. Uh, uh, rip saw catfish, silver croaker, uh, sorabum catfish, spotted araku, tambaki, uh, giant paku, as you've probably seen, river monsters with the little human teeth almost, triera. Now, triera were one that we really enjoyed catching at the uh, Amazonian maze. A ton of money, these fish. Uh, I mean, we caught a. What was it? It was a 70 pound fish. It was like twenty six, twenty eight thousand dollars dollars uh, Crazy, crazy money for those triuras. So we're definitely gonna be going after those at some point. But with the species out of the way, let's get into the equipment. As with all of our starting areas, you know, trying out a new place for the first time, you're gonna have your explorer mission. And part of those explorer missions are catching very small fish. So we do have a little, uh, not using a float rod, we're using a match rod actually, because it always seems like you end up catching larger fish and then it becomes, uh, too much work to bring them in when it's a four pound fish and you're dealing with two pound line and it's just not worth it when it's not gonna give you that much money anyway so just just go with a, a larger match rod I've always found second up we're gonna go with the bass caster people always ask me what's my favorite rod to use or what's the best rod in the game well I don't really think there's the best rod in the game but my favorite rod I would assume is gonna be this bass caster seven foot ten with the counselor 3500 P in there uh, just a fantastic combo for bass I've used it since Pretty much the Everglades, or at least a version of this. Um, that's that's my go-to. My go-to place. Anytime there's bass or something I'm going to be casting for, I've caught Arapaima with this thing. It's crazy. It's just a really good combo, so definitely recommend that one. Going to go with the Sharp Caster 7 foot uh, with the Power Grab 7000. Something heavy that we can catch a large fish with, though I will say there's no Arapaima here. Uh, so this will be something we might go after Triura with. We'll just have to see. Going into our match rods now, we do have the Majesty 11 foot five now we could be going into the match rods that specifically are for south american uh rivers and lakes and whatnot but i will say as you can see my experience bar at the top there we're so close to uh leveling up and i do know that there are new match rods at level 64 so we're gonna hold off for now and just use our majesties um but i will say i do have the spell launcher which is the next step up uh for our second rod gonna be using some pretty decent line here with a seven odd hook and i do have a six odd hook on the other one trying different bait Araku minnow and a large minnow try to see what the trier are going after going into the bottom rods now we do have the la Casadora. i will say that these are both the same basically made a template of uh, both of them that way i can just if i'm ever going to go fishing here again i can just click on that template boom boom shebang and i've got both of my bottom rods ready to go fishing 
Now with catfish, even though some catfish get ginormous, I mean, you think about the Wells catfish and, you know, even this red-tailed catfish get humongous, and you think, maybe I should use that 10 aught hook. Not, not the case with catfish. I don't know what the deal is, but the 8 aught hook seems to be the way to go when it comes to large catfish, so we're sticking with the barbless 8 aught hook to get that extra XP, so hopefully that'll all work out. Um, we are using dead Lambari fish on one and on the other. We're using huge cut bait, though I do, will say I do have large liver and large minnows and other stuff that we can uh, mess around with if, uh, if they're just not biting on it. Now I will also show you that I do have some of the fruit in here, and that's uh, something we'll be using with maybe some of these Match rods as we uh, try to go after that uh, that Paku that'll be pretty cool to get one of those things it said in the description that they get up to 80 pounds so uh, I am looking forward to uh, getting after one of those now lastly it may surprise some of you but with all these beginner series I only use the stuff that I get as long as it doesn't affect it in some crazy way I only use stuff that you can get by playing the game nothing through DLCs nothing through packs so we will be using just the regular uh, Gary Scott Orion bass boat which is is the last boat you can buy uh, with in-game money versus all these DLC boats. Um, just want to keep it even for you so that if you are playing for free, you know, not using anything special. All of my rods, all of my equipment, this is all stuff you can buy with in-game. Don't have to spend the actual money. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into Maroon River and check out the locations. All right, so here we are, Maroon River, first time anyway. Uh, I will say, I, I don't ever look at guides or anyone. I, I, I always like to show up first time. Sometimes we'll join a multiplayer server just to see where other people are fishing, but I don't look up anything on YouTube. I want this all to be new to me as, this, as if I'm showing up here for the first time. So, uh, like you would with any guide or something like that, showing up to a river and asking around with the locals. I do like to click on all these and see. Usually at towards the end of the descriptions, they start telling you some things or maybe in the middle here. So it says, known to chance upon peacock bass and rare tambaki in the southern areas of the Maroon River. So good to know. So we can already see that over here, we might be catching the Paku. Anku, Anku maybe? Uh, hunt piranhas this is the best place you can find so this is a very good place for piranhas here going on to this river uh, uh, this island I guess big island here deep bottom pits favored by catfish interesting so maybe if we uh, come back here around nighttime or even during the day we might be able to fish some of those deep pits and pull out some large cats out of there here's the actual boat place uh, the boat dock monstrous local payara and we do know that the payara is a great fish to be catching so we might go after those as well we were catching those at Maku Maku, if you remember. So uh, yeah, definitely might go after those guys. But the dock is also a great place to throw out a little bobber and catch some small fish as well. So might do that just to get through the mission. And Los Cardos Village here, we've got the golden color Apa Apa. Apa Apa Apa. Apa Apa Apa. Uh, very cool. So yeah, more small fish. I guess we can come here and do some of those smaller fish in the mission. And then we have this little secluded lake over here. I would almost think that it's a uh, a place for Arapaima or something like that, but let's see what we got here. Interesting, doesn't give you much uh, information regarding the fish over here, but you can tell that something's over here anyway. Uh, there's a bank so that you can fish from the bank here, um, and it says you can listen to the tropical birds and animals, which sounds amazing, but uh, yeah, so interesting. Doesn't tell us what fish are there though. Well, let's go ahead and just go to the boat dock and maybe flip out a little bobber and catch some of these small fish. All right, we are at the boat dock right now. This isn't the best weather, of course, but you can see right here that we do get a little bit of sun right in the very beginning of the day and right towards the end of the day so I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth fishing this uh, this time or not but we can at least try to catch some small fish just flip out a little bobber here and see what we catch. You got crickets on there with a number four hook. Ooh, the bobber's moving. Interesting, something I didn't really think I'd have to worry about, but certainly learning stuff here. Maybe we ought to go out. Oh, we can't go out there. Okay, well, maybe we'll just Toss out over here. Oh, getting pulled by something there and the first fish. First fish, we got an Oscar? It is an Oscar, how about that? Top notch first fish of the uh, of the trip, a little Oscar. Very nice, well top notch. Uh, one pound, nothing to write home about, but you know what, when you're just trying to complete a mission, it doesn't really matter, does it? So we are actually using the crickets to go after the spot of Raku, but uh, if we keep catching Oscars, we might have to change our tactics here. I actually bought red worms and brought them with us to go after Oscars, but then they went after the cricket. That's interesting. Something's messing with it. Oh, oh no. 
I'll throw out a little bit further. Give him some more room. Give him some more room there. Try right here, see if we can get anything to come out from underneath this boat. Sometimes, in real life even, I, I, something about just flicking out a little bobber and just seeing whatever goes after a worm or a cricket in this case, just kind of fun. You get into such a such a grind with uh, with lures and different soft baits for bass and stuff like that, and you kind of forget just something as simple as just tossing out a bobber and just seeing what goes after it. Some took it. Oh, come on, man. Tackle was taken out of the water before the fish was hooked. He was definitely hooked. We literally took him out of the water. <laughs> Fishing planet. Come on now. I think that was an Araku, too. Dude, seriously. What? What is going on? <laughs> we were, we're obviously hooking them. We're obviously hooking them. We're taking them out of the water. And then before we know it, it's telling us that the tackle is being taken out of the water. What is going on? I think both of those were Araku minnows, though. It was un uh, unfortunate, you know. Maybe if we uh, get out on the end of this dock, we might have a little bit more luck of some sort. Who wants to put money on it? Are we going to lose this one, too? Bro, seriously. I'm giving this one more one more shot. See, these these are nibbles. Usually, yeah, like that. Bro, come on, give it to us. So maybe we need to throw it out deeper, but I don't want to throw it out. I'm not I don't want to fish deeper. I want to fish shallow. Oh, getting nibbles. Alright. Well clearly we're clearly further away! The fish was hooked! I swear to God. Watch this. We're gonna let it take it. We're gonna count to three. And if he gets off, then he gets off. There. Two. Three. He's hooked. Correct. It's a freaking Oscar. Urgh! How many dang... We got a new personal record, I get. How many dang spotted Arakus did we almost catch? And now we finally got something, and it's an Oscar. Ugh. Salty, man. There we go. There we go. Finally. Look how far I had to cast just to make sure that I didn't freaking mess it up again. It's a pretty little fish, though. I can understand why uh, predators go for this thing. Right on. Spot a Raku. Down, bro. Down. There we go. Kind of curious if a small fish has it right now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a croaker. My goodness gracious. A trophy silver croaker. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'm quickly losing losing interest to catch these small fish. We're gonna take a moment to go fish for some larger fish and uh, maybe we'll come back to this. All right. We're out. Oh, that must be the boat we took, the little dugout we took to get over here. We're out on the island now. It's nighttime, as you can see by the moon. Best way to approach fishing for, uh, for catfish is either looking for spots like this or, uh, or just taking your chances in a large area like this. This certainly could be the best way to go about it, but seeing as though this is just so interesting, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a marker in here. A little temporary marker so that I know where I'm aiming. We're gonna throw out our catfish rods to, uh, to that little location. Unless it's not gonna let us go. Oh, okay, here we go. Throw down our rod holder here and get our catfish rods. So we have a huge cut bait on this one. And then on the other one, we uh, we have the dead Lombari fish, I do believe. So let's toss this guy out into this hole. Undershot it just a tad there. We're gonna take our dead Lombari fish here, toss it out, see how we do. While we're waiting, we can obviously keep fishing for the small fish in the Marone River Exploration 1. So I'll keep on, uh, keep on keeping on, I suppose. Big nibbles. I'm kind of freaked out right now. One of these is gonna go. Oh, they went at the same time. Cool. <gasps> oh no! Ah, uh, I couldn't. I was trying to use my mouse wheel to uh, to increase the drag, but that was not this game. <laughs> That's not fishing planet, evidently. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It is a red tail. Look at that guy! Let's go. I bet he's normal. I was going to say, yep. Yeah, I bet he's normal. 46 pounds. Check him out. Look at that. 
That is so cool. I cannot wait to catch one of these guys in real life. Ooh, let's fish on. Mm, might be another silver croaker, if not a ripsaw, though. Eh, looks silver to me. Oh, it's a flat whisker. How about that? So we've got these guys at Maku Maku, I believe. If not, uh, Amazonian maze. And, uh... Yeah, definitely one of those things that steal your bait every once in a while. So I will say, now that we've caught a few fish that aren't too massive, in fact, we've only caught one red tail, one thing I did think about, because I have been doing a lot of carp fishing, and I've been looking around through different uh, recipes and whatnot, and I did see that there is one bag of ground bait called Catfish Destroyer, and I've never used this before, and I don't know how you use it, um, but I assume... I assume we just, I can toss it into an empty recipe here. Should we, we should probably not, let's put a half of it in there. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I will say all the aromas and the particles were all for carp. There were no aromas or particles for fish, for catfish. So I'm not sure how that goes, but let's just mix this together. And I did bring some cage feeders to, uh, to toss in there. Let's toss a cage feeder onto this guy and we'll toss in the recipe. The catfish destroyer, not much of a recipe, but that's okay. Now we got something on this. Doesn't seem very big either. Ripsaw? It's our first ripsaw catfish. How about that? <laughs> Nine pounder. I'd be I'd be excited to catch that thing in real life. I think that'd be pretty cool. Catch a little ripsaw catfish. A little bit heavier, though we're still reeling him in, so maybe a small gilded or red tail. Or a good sized ripsaw. It is a good sized ripsaw. Look at that, trophy ripsaw, 18 pounds. Right on. It's a cool fish. I like the, the scales and the armor on the on the side. It's kind of cool. Of course, now we got a fish on this one. Switch to that. Oh, that's got a little bit of bend in it. He pulled out some line, too. I think this might be one of the bigger ones we've caught so far. Still pulling him in rather easy, so I'm not going to assume he's a 100-pound fish yet, but it might be in the 60s or 70s. Who knows? Let's go. Let's go under 30. Got to give a, get him to around 20 to pull him up. There we go. Oh, is it gilded? There we go. What do we got? Just a regular gilded catfish, 50-pounder. Not too shabby. Look at that guy. Right on. Pretty catfish, though. 50, uh, 50 inches and 50 pounds, right on. Well, we officially ran out of time to fish at night. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I know that they didn't really give us any information about what is around here, but given that they give us a bank, I I, I tend to think that it's either a catfish or a triera. So I think we're gonna deal with both of them. Let's just toss out, this isn't the best time either. Let's Let's skip. I haven't skipped time at all though. Let's just toss out and see, and I'll be able to toss out the Dobson fly too to see if we can get something on that. Let's toss out this. I'm not seeing any movement particularly. Let's zoom in on the map. Nothing deep. Yeah, I'm thinking that the match rod's gonna be the way to go here, but let's go ahead and try the catfish stuff as well. Ooh, whoa, we got one on both rods. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, it could be. Nope, I think it's catfish. It's a little flat whisker catfish. Okay. We do have something on the match rod. Do have the one match rod got something on it. it does look golden though. I think it's the apapa. Apa apa. Now we got something on the other one. Let's see what the heck this is. This might be the first time I've caught one of these. Yep. Sure enough, very pretty fish. Reminds me of the Golden Dorado. All right, finally switched to uh, to a sunny day. I will say, one thing I do want to try real quick as we moved on over to this area over here, which is supposed to be where the Tambaki are, uh, according to the description anyway. Seems like they, uh, they added in an audio setting for the bite alarms and whatnot, but the boat is still ridiculously loud. Ooh. Something just went for it anyway. That's a piranha. How about that? A big piranha too. A big trophy red bellied piranha. Pretty cool.
There we go. Decent sized fish on finally. Almost look like another red bellied piranha though. It is another red bellied piranha. Oh, that was a red peacock bass. Right on. Got our first red peacock bass. That's awesome. Evidently these things get to 15 pounds. So decent size, uh, decent size fish, or at least can be a thousand dollars for a five pound fish too. Yes, please give me more of those. We were seeing actually some larger fish popping up through here as we were going by on the boat with the radar. So let's go ahead and uh, drop out our bait and then there's actually a small creek behind us that we can uh, toss out some uh, some smaller baits. Hopefully catch that darn red tail barracuda that keeps evading us. Ooh, that's a good take. That's a take right there. Not big fish though, just something. Hey, it is a catfish. Is this a sorbum? Jeez, how about that? Top notch. It's the first one of those we've caught. We caught those at Maku Maku, as you may remember. Now we're chasing them down the side. There not be any caimans in this water. I think he's just kind of playing with us, but boy, he's right there. I can see him. Doesn't seem like he has to try very hard to go anywhere, I guess. Come on, man. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Top notch trophy red tail, 96 pounds. Still not into the uniques, but hey, check that out. $7,437, 96 pounds, like I said, an 8,261 XP gain. Look at this fish. Look at that fish. That is so cool. And I do believe that that is gonna push us over the edge. There we go, level 64, we did get the Dobson fly, which is nice. We got that next spell launcher, Raj, which I knew was gonna be up there. And we got some new jigging spoons, got the 10 knot cap and hook, and we got another jig head as well, top notch. Well, cool. So not a unique by any means, but man, that, that, was, a, that was a good, I think we still might mark that one. Because at least if we, uh, at least if we remember where he is, then we might come back here at nighttime and catch a unique. Not picking up big fish on the radar, though. Ooh, ooh, is that a, that's a Biara? I think it might be a Biara. Ooh, a unique Biara, what? That's crazy, he just came out of nowhere. That's awesome. Well, not a Pyara, but a unique Biara. That is awesome. Something anyway, goodness gracious. We needed something to just make things better for us because it was, it was looking pretty slim for a while there. We were not catching anything. Finally got some sort of unicorn out of here. He nails happy. How are you? You look, you're looking pretty happy there, he nailed. This guy's doing like a helicopter. Well, now he's slapping you. Something just took it anyway. Is it one of those Apapa again? Those things are pretty feisty. A trophy one though, man, he, he glows. I feel like I took the hand of Midas and touched a fish. Goodness gracious, it's a golden fish. It gets me excited for a golden Dorado. That would look amazing. Not too shabby. I kind of expected to pull a bass out of here or something like that. All right, well, I tell you what. I say, now that we know where we got this trophy uh, red-tailed catfish, I think we should probably just go ahead and, and throw in our bait. Let's mix up some more of that catfish destroyer and throw it out to where we got that one trophy anyway. Well, I'll be shocked if <laughs> I didn't say that we've been sitting here for like five minutes or so and there's been absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even nibbles or anything. This is the spot that we caught the trophy at. If it wasn't so early in the evening, I'd have to go out there and, and calm them down. We're at 14 feet, guys. Come on. Oh, it's a little gilded. Right on, 45 pound gilded catfish, right on. That's cool. Sub 50. Ooh, we got beeps on another rod too. 
We're a sub 40 now. Still can't see him, so I can't tell what we've got on the end here. Gilded. It is a gilded. Got him. Got him. 51 pounds. $2,970 and 1,500 XP. Working our way up. Working our way up with the match rods of all things. Just above 30 right now. And we're sub 30 just for a moment anyway. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get up here. Get up here. There he is. There he is. Another trophy red tail. 80 pounds. Not even a new PB, but hey, that's all right. That's a nice fish. A nice fish. Can't complain about that. Getting into a nice red tail like that. I will say I'm looking forward to finally getting a unique of this guy. They're, they're amazing catfish. And honestly, I've, I've fished around here all the, the entire day. And I cannot tell. 6,200 bucks and just about the same XP. Cannot tell exactly where a nice uh, Triero would be. That and a Payara. This is such an interesting place. Whereas with the Maku Maku, I mean, we could kind of go around and kind of tell where things were supposed to be but but at maroon river i honestly can't tell you you go through these little sections of water and the only things that stand out are logs and stumps it's a it's a very curious place but anyway looking forward to seeing what all you think down in the comments if you fish maroon river maybe you've got some spots that we can try out in a live stream which of course is every monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 hope to see you there maybe we can discuss some places and uh yeah improve and then maybe put out a second video of maroon river uh to fish some of these giants because that would be a lot of fun but uh if you enjoyed this video obviously hit the like button if you want to see more future content hit the subscribe and we'll uh we'll see you in the next episode everyone take care and as always remember everyone one planet one family game on